we return to discuss some important tips regarding earthing when using cable glands. In our first demonstration, an ECC type cable preparation will be prepared for a typical installation fitment using an armor gripping gland. The main point to consider is that in the stripping procedure, we must not break off the earth conductors in the armor system. The shroud and cone nut are first positioned onto the cable. Cable preparation begins by removing the outer sheath to the pre-measured length and then separating the copper conductor strands as demonstrated. The steel armors can then be removed in the conventional manner by ring cutting and bending. The next procedure is to flare the steel armoring and fit the cone bush as demonstrated over the earth conductors and under the steel armor wires. Final assembly of the gland, which in this example is an adjustable type, is now made in the manner earlier described. Connection and attachment to the apparatus also follows procedures previously demonstrated. Many industrial users require a separate earth wire on cables to ensure safe earth continuity. The attachment of an earth tag to a gland is common practice and is achieved very simply. One or more tags, depending upon the size of the phase conductors, may be fitted between the lock nut and the metal frame of the apparatus. Before attaching the gland, remove all paint, rust or grime from the cable entry point to ensure a proper electrical contact to earth. Secure the gland, along with the earth tags, to the frame.